Just keep your pinky on the yolk and try not to mess anything up. L3 is a droid who truly has a mind of her own. Droid, droid! When she thinks somebody needs to be taken down a notch, she uh, decides that that's her mission. You done flirting? I'm still ready. Once upon a time, she was actually an R2-type droid, and she'd modified herself and given herself legs and arms and continued to evolve. My department came in and offered up a bunch of ideas. You know, I even put Leia's hair buns on L3 to kind of sell the idea. She's sharing bits and pieces of an R2 unit in the eyes and a bit of the chest and using the legs of the R2 unit as her arms as well. So you get that feeling that she's very familiar. At the same time, it's a very new way of doing it. And she's given herself a voice. Don't just blindly follow the program. Exercise some free will. Leave him alone. No. Hey, leave him alone. He's never, He's had, never it. had it so good. Oh, That's it. Right. How about you try fighting me? That's better. That role. How about that? All right. All right. <laughs> we are I'm going to flip your switch. <laughs> good luck finding it. L3. She has a sort of rage that's fueled by injustice when she sees how droids are treated in the universe, and she feels like they've been enslaved and patronized by humans, so she wants to free them. Congratulations, you're liberated. Scoop. I don't know, free your brothers and sisters or something. Just give me some space. One of the other things we talked about was maybe she's that waitress in the diner that's, uh, you know, that's been there for 30 years and has seen it all. And she'd just be like, sugar, this is the way it is get your presumptuous ass out of my seat. Phoebe does such an amazing job of this character. She's really funny and smart and quippy. How do you translate that, that funny human component that Phoebe brings to the process into something that's a, a droid? And the method we settled on was actually having Phoebe in a suit, but the suit kind of fits around her. And then digitally, we're gonna erase the parts of her that don't belong in the final design and replace them with digital parts. But the parts you see that she can wear, for many of those shots, those are actually going to be in the film. So it's this really nice collaboration between the costumes team who developed Phoebe's costume and the visual effects team who developed everything inside there, all the digital parts that go inside her and actually make her look like she actually works. Given that her performance is, is very animated on its own, she brings a lot to the character. We're, we're more just matching the motion that we see and then rendering kind of to that performance and trying to make it authentic. The animators, when they get the performance capture, they look at it and they might tweak it a little bit to make it maybe look a little bit more robot-like or fix a few footsteps or something. But overall, it, we really captured it on the set. Roll we thought we gotta give Lando his own first mate. And that first mate has to be just as good as Chewie. So their relationship in the cockpit is one of total respect and trust. She has more data and more navigational skill than any human being could have. Could use a fresh coat of paint, though. Well, I know this. You do not want to press that button with me. I don't think she's ever met a human who treats her like an equal, and that's very significant to her. And I don't think he's ever met anyone who just tells him how it is. She's definitely going. Oh, why? Because you're my organic overlord? And there's a deeper emotional connection than either of them really wants to let on. L3, what did you do? I found my true purpose, Lando! That's what I've done! We had this idea that the sound effects that were created for the original Millennium Falcon back in the 70s, I wanted to have used in her, in her being. There's a moment when she's starting to calculate something, and Lando's like, are you ready? Let me know when you're ready to jump. And she hits her head and... She is the Nava computer. That is what powers that ship in New Hope. OK. So we wanted her sound effects to get put in there when he's like, she's part of the ship now. We wanted to have that connective tissue. It's really cool to be creating a new character in the Star Wars universe. I haven't seen a character like her before in Star Wars or beyond, really. And I really believe in her as a inspiring character as well, so I feel, feel very lucky to have embodied her mechanical self. 